it's long overdue, Andre. Today is the mm -hmm. the unveiling of the fall winter 2019 Supreme it is. preview. Yep. Today was the big day. Let me pull that up while we're having this conversation. Right. Also, before we get into all well, mm -hmm. before we get into some yeah. of the items, because there's way too many to there's go through. Too many to go through as a full, yeah. 100%. I want to talk about this weekend. This weekend, the Satin Ones dropped. The Black Satin toes. Ones was a problem, man. Did you anticipate that? I anticipated the availability to be where it was, and I anticipated, you know, getting a pair not to be super easy. I didn't think the numbers would hold this strong. It's it's up there, man. Those big sizes, $1,000 plus. Like, it's it's is, up there. Is that somewhat ridiculous it's a bit ridiculous you know it's 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 a woman's shoe it's a shoe that has come out in a better form before because i'm sorry I, the satin is just not better than you know the original black toe to me um so for them to be doing this much money this much more than a regular black toe and it be a woman's model is it's kind of crazy on the pricing but i understand that i mean it was a lot more limited than a regular black toe the satin touch is viewed by many people as a more premium touch to it, so it adds more luster to the shoe in general. But, you know, again, on a personal level, like, I don't like the satin. You know, I don't mind the satin on the back panel. I hate satin in a toe box. It ruins the toe box. It's unwearable, it yeah. Okay. So I hate satin on a toe box. I don't mind the way the satin was going up the back panel. What I didn't like was the 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 wings plate that they added on to it the wave runners also redropped again this the re 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 drop they cared right they cared like a motherfucker why do you think that is um i mean it's just it's the first wave runner color it was so hard to get the first time around yeah but this is the third time it is the third time but i mean it still hasn't been like a ridiculously wide release any of the times there weren't that many of these these didn't touch these only touch consortium accounts not the second know? time around the second time around i thought there was a lot more available the second time around was still only online wasn't it no. No, they put them in the stores the second time I around? I think so, yeah. It was still only consortium though. Foot Locker, Foot Action, they don't get 700s. They're still okay. fairly limited compared to like a 350. And it's the OG color. I feel like everybody who loves the shoe that got it the first time around has already worn it enough times to wear like it's not in great shape. And like, oh great, I got a chance to re-up, you know? Now, they're doing better on the secondary market than I thought they would. I thought these would be pretty stagnant. I thought they would sell out on a retail level very easy. And I thought they'd have some okay numbers in the streets because, you know, you got all the street guys that aren't going out to a sneaker store and still will support your local reseller. But, um, what know, are they, these going for right now? They're on stock X for like 420, 400, small stock. And like, whatever that, 300? That, yeah, it's retail 300. If you got it with no tax, then that's cool. If you pay tax and whatever, but you're making 30, $40 a pair, bare minimum. You know, selling it on these platforms. Is Bare that minimum. A good investment though. You shell out three hundred plus just to make it thirty. Well, that's $40 that's plus. the reseller life. I mean, you got these guys. Like I said, like I've said before, chasing mids and like that thirty forty dollars. You buy ten pairs of sneakers in a day. That thirty forty dollars is three four hundred bucks a day, and that's decent. That's decent. And yes, it requires a fairly big nest egg to make that money, but that's the name of the game, right? The SpongeBob collection. I know who's gonna happen. People have been really feeling these Kyries lately. That many colorways. Every single colorway is like, oh, it's gone. You're right. I am surprised about that. These two are solid. The Crabs one and the Sandy one. I don't like the model so much. Um, I was on vacation when these dropped, so I didn't get to buy any. I didn't care. I just let it pass me by because I didn't think it was a big thing. Any regrets knowing that now it's all gone? Um, I mean, nah, there's always the next one. You know, there's, there's always, always, always the next one. Have you seen what the book bags are doing for this? The book yeah. bag's doing like four or five hundred dollars. I haven't what? even seen one. The book bag's doing for the SpongeBob one. I think the the, the Sandy one's like the second. Was oh, that one like that a I... special media package type deal? Or? No, it was it's supposedly in bag. Foot Locker. Supposedly okay. it was in Foot Locker. I, I I again I was on vacation. I didn't see it for myself. But I like the way that they I, they paid a lot of nice attention to detail on the shoe. The back of the Kyrie is like a sponge, and this is supposed to be SpongeBob. I like that. I mean, it doesn't translate directly over into Patrick. This doesn't like, <clears throat> this doesn't actually go with Patrick as much, but it's different. You know, each one is like, it's different. It's, it's cool, man. This one's got like, uh, this one's embossed. This one's embroidered. I mean, I, I like it. <laughs> that, okay. that word's come up a lot today. Right. Word of the day. It's cool. Let's clear these shoes out yep. and let's talk about Supreme, okay? Let's, let's go. Let's focus Ooh. the attention on your specialty, if mm. you will. Supreme, so uh, I took the liberty of picking out oh. some of the most outrageous mm -hmm. Uh, items that I I thought were interesting. Obviously, there's I, I don't know how many. I know, there's like oh. 200 plus. Right? Yeah, there's always there's always. And of that, there's multiple multiple colors. That's I mean, yeah, yeah. They they put out a lot of shit, and this is not including collaborations. Okay, okay are we ready? I'm ready. All right. Bowl First ready. item Cream. is the Cream. Martin Wong eight ball leather varsity yes, jacket. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm a fan of the graphic. It is printed on a shot leather jacket or Scott, whatever the 
what you want to pronounce it. Um, you know, when, when I read the description, I was like, oh, they made an eight ball jacket. I thought it was like your classic regular, you know, you got to put it on the ground and put two bullet holes in it for clout. Cause that's what used to happen. Um, you know what this reminds jacket. me of? Huh. Uh, the guy on the train that that Slap duffed the girl. Oh yeah. yeah, yes, yes, yes. I thought it was. This gonna is be the that. first thing I think about I thought when it was I gonna see be that. eight ball jacket. I thought it was gonna be that, and it's not that. I like this graphic. Wouldn't it I mean, be that's better gonna be if they a put very that guy? expensive. That would be amazing. <laughs> That would be so New York. Yeah, so that would supreme. be amazing. Um, it's just that that the retail on that's gonna be very high. That's a seven hundred dollar plus jacket. Isn't gonna be profitable. No, no, no. Nah, nah, so it's just yeah. unless you got the right customer. You know what I mean? Everything that can't be sold can be sold to somebody. There are people that don't want to wait, don't want to deal with it. But that bad boy, I would not just buy without a sale. That bad boy requires somebody telling me they want it, and I gotta have a deposit or I gotta know the person is about it. You know what I mean? That bad boy, it's just it's too expensive. Would you buy it for yourself? Money. If I had the disposable cash laying around, I would wear it. Let me you put would? it like that. I would wear that, yes. Reversible bandana fleece jacket. This is kind of crazy, no? I am not a fan of fleece jackets. I don't like the cut. You see the way like right there where it zippers up, it's curved. I hate that. I want that flat at the bottom and I want the zipper to go all the way down. But with that being said, the bandana print is pretty dope. You know, it's a little is reminiscent. It? Yeah, I like the bandana print on a jacket. I mean, it's um, kind of ridiculous. Nah, it's not. I mean, if if it was like multicolored bandana, like Can you if pull I had this a blue off? or red, maybe the black or the red, I would wait. I would I would maybe wear it. I don't You're think I would buy it. <laughs> you booing? All day, baby. <laughs> okay. Um, it reminds me of like a Vism kind of thing, or like a Capital kind of thing. Like you know, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Okay. This That's one... gonna do good. Is it? That's gonna do good. It's gonna do well. Resell the fuck out of that one. Okay. That's gonna do good. I, I may be pronouncing this one. Is it? Oh, and it's Gore-Tex. It has the little Windstopper logo, and I believe that's that's like a Gore-Tex subsidiary. All right, cool. All right, next item, Rayan shirt. <laughs> Rayon? A little outrageous? No. It's a little crazy. It has like a little um, I see ghost, kid see ghost okay. vibe to it. Again, that shirt has not gonna have much resale value. Oh, on it's it. not. I believe, I don't believe so now. Um, but you know, that You're not could just... be an item that might. It might, you know, like I might, you might be able to sell this, like you might have StockX customers for this. This is something that might sell on StockX type shit. I don't have a customer for that per se. You're not, you're not, you know, misleading the audience, are you? No, not at all, okay. not at all, not at all. I'm gonna tell them all the hot shit. All right. right. <laughs> Burner phone. Burner phone, let's go. Time to sell some <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Censor that one. That's four. We're gonna sell some drugs with this bad boy. <laughs> yeah. You know what the problem with this is? It's gonna be annoying because everybody's gonna get it and everybody's gonna go buy a little thirty dollar like monthly unlimited sim, are right? They, are they really? Hell yes! People are gonna want to use this phone, right? <laughs> so now it's gonna oh. fuck group chats up everywhere. Wait, because shout out Eric Whiteback because uh, I know he's gonna. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna put do, this to he's use. He's gonna sell some. Problem. Oh, is he? <laughs> Yo, but like everybody's gonna want to use this phone and it's gonna fuck group chats up everywhere Because you know when you get the group chat and everybody got an iPhone so group chats in shape And then you get that one Android motherfucker, which is normally it, it just it's shooting then you got eight different messages popping up with okay. the group chat This is gonna fuck life up, but it's cool. By the way, you mean cool. sell baking soda? Yes, baking soda. Uh, okay As Next <laughs> All right <laughs> Next item, cop car work jacket. That's cool. That's cool. With the NYPD on fire. That's cool. I like that. Not, is this gonna be a hot item? No, not the work jacket. No, if they put that graphic like on a t-shirt or something, that'll be all right. The work jackets never do great. I mean, it'll be marginal. Again, that's the kind of thing like you gotta have an order for it. I wouldn't just buy it out per se unless they make it. You know, fucking insanely limited. Okay. Is Duffel all bag. Like, you wrote all this on all? Of yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm I putting wanna make... this whole collection up on eBay. I want it. Tony me <laughs> mm -hmm. Duffel bag. Duffel bag, boys. This is a weird shape for a duffel bag. Um, it's interesting though. It's got the camo. Everybody loves camo. Supreme bags. I think fucking it's nice. Flapjacks. You flip them shits like nah, butter. Not, not, not a good idea. Yeah, no. Good, good idea. Yeah, them shits flip like a motherfucker. The book bags. How much? How more. much? How much profit? Oh, I'll sell those bags for 250 240 What's retail? 168 ish should be, maybe 178 Yeah, 50 60 bucks on it. This one's clean. This one's a little artsy. Faces T. Dirt. No? I don't like it. Wow. I don't like it. Is it going to make money? Yeah, it's a t-shirt. You know what I mean? Like, there, there are different ways for this kind. I was having a conversation with somebody about this before, right? Um, somebody I know who has, like, a, a shop that they just opened up. And it's like a little resale consignment shop. And they, they were talking to me, like, what I thought about the tees. And I'm like... You're in a store, you buy every tea you can, even if it's a dirt tea. Like, I couldn't sell a lot of these teas on Instagram, but if you put that, it's whatever, $40 retail, $44 retail, you put that in a physical location and you mark it up to 80, 100, whatever, somewhere in there. Small it's, it's just, yeah, it's like, all right, I'm in the store. It's a Supreme T 
t-shirt i'm gonna buy it so those things have life in that manner you know but it's it's not a great tea to me no. okay next one this one is very artsy and it's out there okay what kind of faux fur jacket is this um i, I believe it's is just it, like a is it ganish yes the ganish i believe you know that's that's a reference to the indian lady that's on there i do believe um so i'm not very versed in that but i mean you know supreme does these like big giant all over yeah. murals on items and they normally do well I, I wouldn't be surprised if this does okay i personally don't like it i mean just look how furry it is it's like a it's like you're walking around with is like it an Indian print Elmo jacket? Look how so fuzzy you say it is. Gonna, mm. You wouldn't be surprised if it does well. I would not be surprised if it does well at all. This is printed on high quality paper too. Uh, right. <laughs> Go ahead. Will you be going after this? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that, that's something I'll buy. Yeah, that, that I'm sure. And they're not going to make a lot of those. Lantern. Lantern. Gotta have it. Fucking lantern, of course. For the body, not for something. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. I mean, I keep it most. I, it was a period where I was keeping every accessory, but like, I keep most accessories now. I try not to like just buy the complete stupid shit that I'm never gonna use because like you're gonna use the stupid shit does I mean I would apocalypse I, I would no like Lantern. in the man cave that I don't have you oh know? yeah that power outage yeah, yeah okay uh, it's cool it's cool it's cool it's cool good money maker? people have yeah that's gonna be fine they're gonna make a million of those whatever you just gotta sell them early see now I didn't I didn't include all Every single tea because there's of a lot course of not yeah it's a shitload of but this one mm -hmm. I think is pretty fire Mary J Blige Queen of Soul herself. I mean, I think that was Aretha. Is this the hottest Queen of R&B herself. I feel like this one's gonna go for a lot. Yeah, yeah, it should. Measuring cup. Again, this is going with the theme of selling <laughs> right? So we use the measuring cup to mix the proper amount of baking soda and water to dilute the <laughs> so we can make <laughs> Great item. Can we just say cocoa instead? The cocoa. <laughs> Great item. Wait, Great what are you item. cooking with this? Other than I, you know how often I use a measuring cup. Other than narcotics, you know how what are you? How often I use a measuring cup? Bro? I don't know how often do you use. Every time I bake a cake, you know how many cakes I bake. What's your go-to cake to bake? Oh, funfetti. Funfetti fun cake. Funfetti. What a doofus. Funfetti is lit. What a oh doofus. God, Come on, man. What are you doing, red velvet? Who the hell? Funfetti's it. All right. Funfetti's it. All right. It. Speaking of doofus, this item right here, post-it flags. What the hell, man? I mean, they've made post-it notes. It's whatever. It's it's it's. If you saw somebody reading a book. <laughs> <laughs> and then using a post-it, a supreme post-it flag. But you know what the flag, the that's not what they're for. They're not to mark your place in a book. A post-it flag is so, like on documents, I get you can tell I get them where it. to sign. But so, like, sometimes if you go, people could use it on the, as yeah, a bookmark. Like, if you're about to get divorced, right? That's a good, like if your wife is divorced, if you're the woman and you're divorcing your man because right. his addiction to Supreme and streetwear uh -huh. you can't deal with anymore, the mortgage isn't getting paid, all this motherfucker do is buy box logos. When you present him the divorce papers, that's a good fuck you to have the little Supreme flag when okay. you're supposed to sign <laughs> okay let's do two items at a time now we got the quilted paisley jacket and, dirt. and a scarf nah dirt okay i want to see what dirt? other colors this comes in yeah enough fucking like okay it's like the scarf my mom made me wear in third grade nobody okay. likes that shit give me some tassels on a scarf um this is cool this is cool i want to see what other jet colors it comes in i'm all here for the paisley i can print. see uh tyler the creator wearing this yeah I, okay yeah cool yeah yeah, yeah cool. i don't care about that dude but yeah cool i'm too old for that shit. Mm. hold on let me get, get it right. it's a supreme honda crf 250r <sighs> that's my response it goes with the helmet that you couldn't buy why why i have the helmet you have the helmet. Mm -hmm. I have both of them. So I guess you're just missing the bike. Uh, I would love to get a chance to purchase that. To keep? I would fuck around and keep that. You would? I've already Googled the street legal kit. There's a whole kit for it to make a street legal kit. By the way, this. In the headlight. Um, yeah, that's something I, I mean, it's unattainable, man. It's unattainable. You think there's the only one? The one crazy item, no, there's not only one, but still, it could be a hundred and it's unattainable. Like, it's just, wait, items That's what like you said this, about the pinball machines. You're right, and I got the pinball uh -huh. machine, bless the Lord. But like, okay. I, I didn't get, All right. I didn't get the bicycle after that. You know what I mean? Like, it just, it was it was out of my price bracket. I couldn't do you it. can't have everything. I, you can't have everything. I would love to get that. I'm like, y'all yeah, yeah, pull for me, man. Please, please pull for me. I know you will wear this. Of course, I got the other ones. I got the first. 
first ones they came out with that were just beige. And those, you know what sucked about those? Like on really cold days in the winter when you're out in the streets of New York camping, right? You want your thermals and you want your sweatpants, right? Because they were like the whitish beige thermals, when you take the sweatpants off, now the thermal got little black dots all over it. And I mean, fuck it, I'm not wearing it outside by itself, but it's just annoying. This hopefully will hide the black dots of the sweatpants very well. If somebody wore these outside by uh -huh. itself just like that, are they canceled? Yeah, that's can. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you could do it. By the way, I, I assume this is a money maker. Oh, that's the biggest money maker maybe in the history. How of about the, this? This is probably the biggest money maker in the history of the fucking brand. Honestly. More, more than the pinball. Yeah, I think so. I think you can get more. You know what? The, the only limiting factor on that is, like you said, it's a two fifty, and that's not great. So guys that uh, spend big money on bikes, bikes, it's a smaller bike. Okay. You know what I mean? That's the only thing that's not great about it. That, I mean, yeah, whatever. You make $10. Okay. Ooh. 10 bucks in this day and age. What are your thoughts on this? I love these motherfuckers. Look at that again with the old boy Coco theme. To me, that like all lends itself to the maker? same era. I don't know. Depends how many they make. Depends what the retail is. I think you can make a couple bucks on that. I really want the gold one for myself. How much is a couple bucks? I don't know what the retail is, so it's hard to say. It's guess. hard to say. If I get, I have no fucking clue. I feel like I've seen these watches in like what American do you think is a reasonable outfitter for like thirty price. dollars? I think a reasonable retail price might be about seventy. In which case, I could probably sell them for like a buck fifty, hopefully. Double the profit. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I like them. I'm a fan. Voodoo doll. Oh, the fucking voodoo doll. That's I feel creepy like this and awesome at the same item. time. It is, but I also feel it's gonna be one of those things that they're gonna make a million of, and it's just whatever. You got, you'll be able to sell some the first day, and then it'll. But tank. you're hoarding these. Yeah, I'll buy a fuckload of those, okay. little motherfuckers. Those are awesome. Fair enough. Plated dumbbell. I wish it came in sets of two instead of one. I mean, maybe it will, but like, uh, I'm not crazy about the shape of it. But like, whatever, it'll look great. Like. Sitting in a I guarantee rubber made you, you're, bin. You're not gonna hoard closet. these. No, but I'll buy. I'm definitely gonna keep a set. I, don't I would like why. to see a reseller try to hoard these. Just, that's five pounds. <laughs> oh, so you carry it's a around. lot of shipping, man. I'm not doing free shipping on this bad boy. <laughs> Throw these in the IKEA bag. See, <laughs> see how many you can keep in there. Last one. We got hairbrush. Oh shit! It's like a wave brush, man. That's what the guys in jail used to use. The one without the handle. I don't know if like they do that now, but like back do you in the movie days. Do you think a person? Has to have waves around. to buy this? Mm, you don't have to have waves to buy it, but it's a little silly without it. Maybe I don't know. I hear I heard somebody on Instagram say, "Got a new beard brush." I guess guys with like luxurious. Or beards you can brush your that. dogs or your cats. You can brush your dog or your cat. I mean, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's fine. You get the bait do rag, which is really just trash. Good money maker. That no, not at all. Okay. You can get an order or two, but they're gonna make a bazillion oh, okay. of that. Out of all these items, did I miss anything? Um, that, I mean, I'd have to glance. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. There are some things that caught my eye. It's probably a T, right? That, no, I mean, yes and no. There's a couple things. All right, so here we're going to do it. Are there no box logos? There is the fucking best box logo they've released in so fucking long. I must have missed it. Oh, my God, bro. So it's fucking, uh, it's, it's bandana. So the uh, Team Varsity jacket, that black and orange colorway is my favorite. It's just, that's a great leather jacket. That's awesome. I'm going to buy that one for myself, right? Another great item, I think, is this bubble coat it's uh the gore-tex 700 fill i was gonna print those out but then i thought those that, that was gonna be like that's awesome the black one specifically the purple i'm not crazy about the blue whatever i mean you yeah, stick to your funky colors i'm an old dude it's good money that black yeah that's gonna be a money maker that's just a the black that's i mean whatever they all oh, the purple everybody likes purple you know they like to get linked up everybody sip, sip. likes purple but you yeah i'm not wearing that shit. okay the that's band. a great box logo i want that gray and blue one for the body so bad that is going to be such an unattainable color. All right, so if I were to those in the fucking store, it's if I were to rank it, this is number one. Yeah, clearly. Yeah, number that's two. number two. Number right two, hundred percent. Do we have a number three? Um, this banner tee is okay. a great fucking t-shirt. It has uh, it depicts the um store banner back in 1994 when they first opened, or like that era store banner. And it's on a t-shirt paying homage to 274 Lafayette, which is their original spot. And, um, you know, I, rumors have it they're not going back there at all. But we'll see. The Wassily. Kind of, kind of Wassily. Oh, okay. It's like a very fancy fucking smoothie chair. That's like a $5,000 chair without Supreme. That's going to be a killer. Um, the Champagne Flutes. Good money. Good shit. 
Um, I am by trade a handyman, and I yeah, know that. So like, oh, so your screwdriver is pretty chill. The Pelican cases, great for carrying your drugs because they seal it up and it doesn't stink. Um, to, like, Do you think that's the theme the of uh, this fall winter? Yeah, drugs, yeah. Drugs? The, the lighters, I'm not crazy about. Just stay with the Zippo. I don't know what the fuck this new lighter is about. So to sum it up, this is impossible to get. Impossible to get. And box logos is going to be a fight waiting to happen. To I mean, those. not anymore because of the way they do it, but that gray and the blue, which is the best one in my opinion, that one's going to be really hard to get. The other colors, moderately so. I mean, box logos are never a walk in the park, but like that gray with the blue is going to be very hard to get. I am so fed up. Every reseller, every collector, uh, you know how many times I got every every fucking time I open Instagram for the next week, it's gonna be these fucking pictures. It's like, oh my god, everybody's fucking seen it. I'm not posting this shit until I know what's week one and I'm gonna take orders. I'm not posting this shit. Y'all seen that shit already? If you follow me, you know what Supreme is, and you already seen that shit. It's uh, so annoying. All right, well, <laughs> that's it. That concludes this episode. Uh, thank you, Andre, for stopping by. No. <laughs> All right. For those who haven't watched the the, mm -hmm. the older episodes, no. I can't say his Instagram handle because there's a person that's always flagging the videos, yeah. which doesn't do anything, by the way. Yeah. The videos He's a are still. Bitch. He's a. Bitch. What up? The videos are still there. I wouldn't go that far as to say that. But the All right, yeah. All right, uh -huh. Either way, hit the my like pleasure. button. If you think about what my Instagram is, I'm going to comment it in the comments. You can't do Comment your thoughts that. on this episode. Yeah. If you want more, just keep hitting the just thumbs hashtag up. hashtag <laughs> All right, we out. <laughs>